हेलो फ्रेंड्स रूपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सीबीपी नॉट वीडियो सीरीज ऑन एरे इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज एंड दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 मूव ऑल द नेगेटिव एलिमेंट्स इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड द पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट्स टू द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द एरे ओके सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन एंड वी हैव टू सी व्हाट इज द ऑप्टिमाइज्ड वे टू सॉल्व दिस सो लेट मी ड्रॉ एन एरे फॉर यू सो इफ दिस इज योर एरे वी हैव माइनस एंड प्लस आई मीन माइनस एंड आई मीन नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव वैल्यूज मिक्स्ड अप व्हाट वी वांट इज something like this minus 1 and then minus 3 minus 8 and then 2 4 6 we need something like this i'm not particularly asking you to maintain the order like minus 3 should come after minus 1 because in the real array it is coming after minus 1 and similarly 4 should come after 2 because in this original array also this 2 is before 4 so in the result also it should be like this no i'm not asking that okay then how would you solve this so it is very simple we'll take two pointers left and right left will place here and right will place here and before going there i'll tell you the intuition behind this thinking so basically if you have left and right position so this is your array right and in right hand side you just need all the positives in left hand side you or you need all the negatives so basically if you suppose find some number like minus 1 and 2 in this order what you are going to do minus 1 is actually before 2 right and this is what we need we are not going to do anything what if you find something like a uh, minus or not minus 2 and minus 1 then is this the order what we are looking for no minus 1 should come before 2 right then we need a swap here and what if you have 2 and 5 if this is the case then you will not do anything but if your pointer is standing here and here as you are comparing these two you will decrement this pointer to point to the next or the previous element to this 5 okay because suppose your array is like this and your one pointer will always be here and just after all these elements are going to be negative so we'll decrement this pointer so we'll we'll understand that little more i'll explain you this so now we have initialized our left and right you just check left value which is this and right value which is this minus 1 is at its correct position here you should have a less than zero number right and here you should have greater than zero number but now you are having less than zero number here so we have to change this place how you are going to do that until unless you will increment this and find something positive so that you can replace that with this you will keep incrementing this l okay so let's increment this l we'll just keep this minus 1 here we'll increment l so l will come here now and now you will again check this with minus 8 is this positive and is this negative yes this is the special condition then only you will swap so you'll swap then it will look like this so we have minus 8 and 2 here so once you do this swap you have to decrement this r also now r will come here okay and obviously your left will move here now see is this guy at correct position no your l should be pointing at minus 1 but this is i mean minus value or a negative value or a less than zero value but this is positive value r is fine this is positive value this is fine but you will not swap positive with positive right then what you have to do you have to decrement minus r notice this we are not incrementing l because if you will increment l you will lose this 4 here only and you don't want to keep positive in the left hand side you want to keep positive in the right hand side right so this is positive so decrementing this and pointing your new r here makes sense so now you will point this guy so this is your new r and then you will check l and r this is negative and this is positive this is exact stage where you will swap so you will swap it it will look like this and see we have minus 1 minus 8 minus 3 4 6 and 2 but this is not solving if interviewer is asking you you have to maintain the r also okay this is not the order preserving algorithm so that's it i'm not going to show you the code and all that it's your job as i have already explained you in the previous video why i want you to write the code because that is important you have to do practice and you can comment the code in comment section i will verify that and yeah if you want to discuss about the order preserving algorithms go ahead we can have that discussion also in a comment section so 
with that thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos don't forget to hit the like button